You know, people see me and they think I'm a fly by night. I'm not a fly by night, guys. I'm not a fly by night. I met Pastor Fred, one of my friends in Abuja. I've not seen him for years now. And he said to me, Dr. Damina, you know, um, please have mercy on the boys. <laughs> Please have mercy on the boys. I didn't understand what he was saying. It was later on, Pastor Philemo was telling me that what the man is saying is that the, the things you are teaching are too heavy for them. You should calm down small. Please have mercy on the boys. <laughs> so when Pastor Philemon gave me understanding, I started laughing. So when I started laughing, the guy now, now, now the guy now said we'll meet later. So when we met later, he said he was in Redeem Camp in Lagos, and one senior person in Redeem was telling him that there's this boy, that there's this boy in Aquaibom, Abel Damina, this boy. So the guy said, he said to him, do you know who you're talking about? Do you know who you're talking about? He's not a boy. You don't be deceived by his physical make. He's not a boy. He said, that person you're talking about is the one who ordained Paul in nature to ministry. He's not a boy. You. Stop calling him a boy. He's just blessed with a good body. The guy has been around. This guy has been around. This boy has been around. Next year also I should be 40 years in ministry preaching this Bible. No redeemed Bible preaching it. So I'm not a boy. I didn't just appear. I didn't just emerge. You know, my antecedents are very, very clear. The fathers know it. Those they call fathers. Some of the people they even call fathers of faith in Nigeria are not older than me. They are not older than me. Leave that to you. Know. I'm not joking. I'm not, listen to me, I'm not joking. So when they are saying Dr. Damina is talking against the fathers, who are the fathers? Who are the, am I not a father? Huh? In this country, I am a father of faith in Nigeria and around the world. So what are you talking about? If I was in the Nigerian army by now, I would be a general. 40 years in the army, I would be a general in the army. Leave that, you know. We are not boys. Don't be deceived by my face. Then the, the pastor now said, Dr. Damina, the only thing that used to save you is this, your bald head. Because when they see this, your bald head, they know you are not a small boy. I say, oh, father, increase the baldness more. If that's the way they know that I'm not a small boy. I'm not a small boy. When you hear me talk things, I speak from the weight of my, my the weight of my ministerial debt. I'm not a boy. I'm not NYSC. We've been around. We've been around. It's important for you to understand my credentials. We've been around. And not just around quiet. We've been around making impact all over the world. You say, hey, Dr. Damina is talking against them. Which fathers? Am I not a father? Most of the people they call fathers are my children. Huh? So we don't have grandfathers in ministry. Otherwise, I will have been a grandfather. So when people say he's talking against the father, ask him which fathers? Is he not a father? Do you know where he has been through? Do you know from where he came? I'm not, I, I didn't just emerge. I'm not just an emerging voice. Some people think maybe the reason why I say the things I say is because I'm looking for popularity. Popularity now, I have been popular. I have been popular. If it's popularity, I don't do po I have done popularity and I have left popularity for the boys. Let me boast a little in my folly. Amen. I have told you if I was in the Nigerian army by now, I would be a general. And I'm not joking. 